A lot of times when I sit down and watch anything, uh, I speculate on, oh, you know who would be good in this part, or you know who would be good in that part, or right, right. you know, miscasting or what I think would be a better fit. There's not a single person in this entire series that has that problem. I mean, you guys fit your roles perfectly. You look just like the guys that you portrayed. Uh, it, it, it was amazing uh, the, the amount of detail that they followed to uh, create uh, what can only be known as a cinematic masterpiece. Well, it's um. It, it, thank you for saying that, and um, and I couldn't agree more. I mean, even removing myself from that equation, I look at it and am in uh, awe and and filled with honor of the the guys that I got to do this with, and mostly because of what I said before. There there wasn't there wasn't a guy in that entire group that was lazy, right. and that did not want the best for 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 what we were you know what we were memorializing, and and that didn't give their absolute all, and literally fought for. What they felt was right, mm -hmm. um, and and uh, it's, it was a great group of guys uh, doing really great work, and um, and I think I think we pulled it off. I mean, look, it, you know, I look back on stuff I did that, that I thought was okay at the time. I look back at it and I go, oh, I'm kind of cute. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Um, I look back at Band of Brothers and I go, Holy shit, everybody's amazing in this. I mean, to right. this day, you still go, Wow, that's really good work. I watch somebody, everybody. Everybody do something, and I'll go. Uh, it was the other day was uh, there's a scene with Jim in the in the in the uh, there's a gunner's outpost in nine, and um, and he's sitting down with the replacement and going, you know, why did well, you you, you want to shoot Germans? You want to go? Is that speech? And I'm watching Jim do this thing, and I'm like, I remember running that with Jimmy in London in our apartments, and the beauty at which he does that is just awe inspiring. And the, the, what, how much is on his sleeve, how much heart is on his sleeve is um, it's just, you know, it's really good stuff, man. It's really, really, you know, beautiful stuff. And, and it needed to be, you know. Um, it was that important to everybody. So anyway, thank you for, for your kind words about it. All right, let's talk about boot camp. Boot camp. Are yeah, you, were you, were you uh, physically, uh, mentally prepared for Dale Dye and the Cadre? Let me tell you something. I was probably, and I'm probably speaking out of my ass, but I would say that if there was a percentile in boot camp, I was in the top 10 percentile of fitness. Oh, wow. So, so when I came in, I had already been working my ass to the because I was not going to be left behind. I was going to come in and be like, check it out. I'm not nowhere near getting left behind this thing. And I was totally <laughs> left behind. <laughs> so, uh, so that'll give you some clue as to being ready or not. It's it's about um it's about deprivation. It's about working in deprivation, and it was one of the most brilliant things they could have ever taught us. Because for me, that's what it all was about. There was never any good sleep. There was never any good moments of rest. There was never any clarity. And when you deprive your body of those simple things to kind of reboot, you take that away. Then the decisions you make while you're exhausted and hungry. Um, feed a whole different scenario. They, 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 you, you come up with decisions that are ridiculous um, and, and you're not thinking like a human being. You have to train yourself very quickly to start thinking like a human being even though your facilities aren't uh, quite there. So on that level, you can do 40 push-ups and a couple of pull-ups and you can run, run six miles and not worry about it. But when you start to deprive yourself of everything else, I wasn't, tra I wasn't training on that level. So they got me, they got me there. Um, yeah, we, uh, man, we still look back at that, and I, my bragging is like, I would run the first two miles with a cigarette in my mouth. <laughs> I'm not shitting you. Really? <laughs> I'd run the first two miles with a cigarette in my mouth. Nice. Um, I think it was me and Jim the other day were talking about how we would go into the, uh, you know, the comm and, get, and t t steal a bunch of sausages and stick it in our pockets, and then we'd wind up out in the field doing some drill. We were running up a hill or whatever. And you'd, you'd burnt 1,100 calories in two hours. You know what I mean? You're, you're wiped out. And I'd sit up on the top of the hill and pull a sausage out of my pocket. And Jimmy would go, did you just pull a sausage out of your pocket? <laughs> and I'd go, you want one? And he'd go, I'd love one. And he'd eat the sausage. You know, like I'd give him another one that I had hidden. Him. That's, that's only what you do. That's, that only works for boot camp. You can't go to a cocktail party and go... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be a, that would be a hard hard trick to pull off, unless of course you're trying to impress somebody's dog. Exactly. It's like, uh, oh wait, hold on a second. I think I have a croissant in my helmet. There you go. Great with your sausage. 
uh, okay, so when you were guys were doing that uh, atomic push up or that centipede push up, uh, you didn't happen to have uh, Kudlitz's feet on you, did you? Um, I don't think I did. I had Kudlitz pretty much everywhere else, though. Kudlitz was my bunk mate. Like we slept across from each other. We were in the same squad in the same platoon, obviously. Um, so, but uh, Kudlitz and I marched together a, a bunch. I mean, I, you know, Mike's my man. Uh, I just started calling him Mike, hmm. uh, just so everybody knows. Uh, he's always been bull, and occasionally he still is bull. Um, but I feel like sometimes we'll get into a situation where he just made a movie with Frankie. I just made a movie with Frankie. We've been kind of trying to get out and talk about it. And so I would be like, you know, this movie's going to be great. The other movie that Frank did is going to be great. It's, it's Frank. It's bull. I'll go, who, who the hell's bull? <laughs> I go, oh, sorry. Sorry. Mike Hudlitz, you know. Uh, but so, so I ha- I've been training myself to, to call Michael Michael. Um, but... Uh, but Mike and I, Mike and I had some uh, had some great moments together. He's uh, he's a hell of a guy to to, to uh, hell of a set of shoulders to lean on when you're when you're feeling homesick or you you're feeling frustrated or you're feeling physically worn out. He's just a uh, he's a big hearted but you know wide shouldered dude that can kind of go yeah it's gonna be all right. And then the days when he goes and you know what this is really shitty for me. You go oh great so we're all in this together. You know what I mean? Like it, Mike's a Mike's a beautiful guy. Uh, I'm sure you know that. You've talked to him already. Yeah, we've talked to him a lot of times. We've actually talked to him about uh, Southland as well as Band of Brothers. Right, so what does he say about me? That's the most important thing. Uh, he actually said that you were kind of a pain in the ass. You ain't got nothing oh, on. Oh, what a jerk off! I and like everything back. He definitely said you ain't got nothing on his Dale Die impression. Oh damn! That's that. He's throwing the gauntlet down. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a die off. Actually, I'm gonna tell you. Michael has the best Dale die, <laughs> and I and I and I will tell you that there was a time when we were taking a photo um, outside on the grounds, and and uh, it was a boot camp had just finished, and Michael went, "Could you please keep it together?" And Dale turned around, and he went, "Who was it? Who <laughs> was it?" And I and and Michael went, "Never mind." The whole thing, and he went, "Was?" And I went. Uh, it's not me, sir. Did my thing, and Michael was doing. And I was across from Michael, so it was like coming from two different directions, oh, and he could. Yes. It literally was watching Dale die suffer with schizophrenia. <laughs> <laughs> I think after a while, he didn't even know it wasn't him. He just had to let go. Like no one's doing anything, sir. We're just taking a picture. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> but uh, nice. we had fun. But Michael, Michael has a uh, a resonance that he taps into with die that. If if he did it, I think Michael did it on the day where uh, he went down <laughs> out of the barracks first before anybody. I'm sure he talked about this, and it's a, it's such a twisted memory because I was half asleep. But he did the uh, wake up call, reverie, uh, reverie. Uh, yeah, son of a bitch! Everybody, 15 minutes late. He did die, <laughs> and. And we all were like, what in the name of Jesus? And, you know, realized, ah, 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 laughing from a window. Michael was, uh, ripped us all uh, pretty good on that one. So um, he's, uh, he does it pretty damn good. Yeah, he's, he, he, when, you, when you speak of the Renaissance, he, he de- definitely brings it from the lower diaphragm. Yeah, uh, he gets that deep marine. He gets it really deep. Mine's like sort of a little girly. <laughs> well, see, because it's interesting because... It- from the cast members we polled, it's pretty much down the middle. Right. You and Kudlitz oh, yeah? are neck. Oh yeah, oh, you yeah. and you and Kudlitz are neck and neck. Like wow. we we asked that question, and you know maybe the first handful of people replied with Kudlitz, so we just thought that Kudlitz was the only one in the running, and then comes this dark horse. Wow! And you said it right by the dark horse That's from the right. from the fog, right? From the fog, quite literally, the horseman. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, like you just you just rallied, and like you guys are pretty much neck and neck. Yeah. Wow, 